Okay, so now we will prove the next theorem, which is saying about cancellation law and the zero divisors. The theorem says that the cancellation law in a ring hold if and only if R has uh, no zero divisors. Okay, so obviously this is a theorem which is uh, which is having if and only if. So I will start. Uh, I will split the theorem in two parts. So in the first part. I will assume that the cancellation law holds. OK, and so so whenever I can cancel, I will cancel from the left side or the right side that is given to us and we have to prove that uh, R has uh, no zero devices. OK, so if I want to prove that R has no zero devices, what I will do, I will say that let A into B is equal to what? is equal to 0 and my final answer should be that either a is 0 or what or b is equal to 0. If I can show this, it will mean that um, R has no zero devices. OK, so how will you prove that a is 0 or b is 0? So the strategy of doing this is that suppose that a is not 0 and then try to show that uh, b is equal to what? Try to show that b is equal to 0. OK. That is why I will write. So suppose a is not equal to suppose a is not equal to zero and now I will try to show how b has to become zero, right? So this is our assumption and this is also our assumption that that cancellation law is also true since a into b is zero. This means that a into b is also equal to a into zero because we know that a into 0 is always equal to how much is, is, is always equal to 0. So this 0 I will replace by what I will replace by a into 0. And now I see that uh, I can simply cancel the a from the left hand side, right? So by cancellation law. By cancellation law, I can cancel a and if I will get what I will get b is equal to 0. So this is what we wanted. So what is our conclusion from this uh, entire thing that if a is 0, uh, if a into b is 0, then and if I assume that a is not equal to 0, then I can prove that b is equal to 0. The equivalent statement of this means that if a b is 0, then either a is 0 or b is equal to 0. This is what is the first part. Now let us do the second part. Now what is the second part? Now second part is that we will assume that. R has no D zero devices. And we will prove that. The left cancellation law holds OK, so we have to prove the left cancellation law holds. Now how will I show the left cancellation law holds? So, so remember somewhere at the back that we are given that R has no zero devices. So I will say let AB is equal to AC. Let AB equal to AC. And if I want to show the left cancellation law, this means that I have to at, at the end, I must be able to prove that B is equal to C, right? Means A has cancelled. This is what I have to prove. Right? So, so I will say let AB be equal to AC. And I will assume that A is not equal to zero. And let us assume that a is not equal to 0. Why? Because if A is 0, what will happen? If A is 0, then you will get 0 equal to 0 because this will also become 0. This is also equal to 0 and then you will not be able to uh, conclude that B is equal to C. So we will assume that in this part what A is clearly not equal to 0. So if A is so if AB is equal to AC, then I can say that AB plus of minus AC is equal to 0. So this AC I have brought indirectly on the left hand side. So by distributivity in rings, we know that if A into B plus C is there, then you can write it as AB plus AC, right? So that distributivity law will help me here. And I can write that this is A into B minus C is equal to how much? 0. So I have product of two terms. So there are two terms now. So product of two terms. And the product of two terms is equal to how much? The product of two terms is equal to zero. But we know somewhere our, under our assumptions that R has no zero devices. 
R has no zero divisors means what? Either since uh, let me write since R has no zero divisors. Therefore, by definition, either a is zero or b minus c is equal to zero. Correct. But a cannot be zero. This is this is not possible. This is not possible. Why this is not possible? Because we have assumed that a is equal to zero. Uh, a is not equal to zero. Right. So this means that b minus c is equal to zero, and therefore we have eventually proved that the element b has to be equal to element c. So this means that the left cancellation law is proved. So so let me write it in the form of conclusion. So what is our conclusion? If a b is equal to a c, then we have proved that b is equal to c. Therefore, left. Uh, therefore, cancellation law holds. Let me not write left cancellation. Law, okay. Therefore, cancellation law holds. Okay. So, in this problem, in this theorem, we have proved that. When can you do cancellation in a ring, if and only if the ring has no zero divisors? 